Arthur Broward Robinson born March 24, 1942, is an American biochemist, conservative activist, and politician. He was the five-time Republican nominee for the United States House of Representatives for Oregon's 4th Congressional District. A former faculty member of the University of California, San Diego, Robinson now runs a privately funded laboratory known as the Oregon Institute of Science and Medicine in Cave Junction, Oregon, a newsletter called Access to Energy, and publishes the Robinson Self-Teaching Home School Curriculum. As the Republican nominee for the 4th District in Oregon, Robinson ran and lost to Democratic incumbent Peter DeFazio in 2010, 2012, 2014 and 2016. He served as chairman of the Oregon Republican Party from August 2013 to February 2015. Early life and education Arthur Robinson was born in Chicago. He received a B.S. in chemistry from the California Institute of Technology Caltech in 1963, and a Ph.D. in biochemistry from the University of California, San Diego in 1968. His doctoral thesis was titled, Experiments on the Synthesis and Spectral Characterization of Cytochrome-Related Molecules. Topic. Scientific career Topic. Early career Robinson was one of the few students ever to be appointed to the faculty of the University of California, San Diego immediately after getting his Ph.D., but resigned four years later. He was a co-founder, along with Linus Pauling and Keen Dimmick, of the Institute of Orthomolecular Medicine, later renamed the Linus Pauling Institute in 1973. Topic. Linus Pauling Institute Robinson was the president, director and a research professor with tenure at the institute. In June 1978, Robinson was asked to consult with the executive committee of the Linus Pauling Institute regarding important decisions involving the institute. The members of the executive committee included Robinson, Pauling, and executive vice president Richard Hicks. The same day Robinson was asked to consult, he Robinson dismissed Hicks by terminating the fundraising services agreement employing Hicks, claiming that Hicks had failed to generate the substantial donations expected of him. Disturbed by Robinson's swift actions against Hicks, Pauling declared that he no longer had trust and confidence in Robinson and asked him to resign immediately. Robinson requested 30 days to consider the resignation and ultimately refused. Pauling called a meeting of the Board of Trustees regarding Robinson's refusal to resign and the board granted him a leave of absence passing all executive authority to Pauling, later electing him president and director of the institute. Robinson responded to the dismissal by charging that he, not Pauling, had done the experimental work at the institute, and that Linus has not personally contributed significant research work on vitamin C and human health. Robinson filed a lawsuit against the Institute for $25.5 million, finally settling for $575,000. Oregon Institute of Science and Medicine 
Robinson later moved to Oregon and founded the Oregon Institute of Science and Medicine (OISM) there in 1980. Robinson is the president of the OISM, which is a 501 c3 nonprofit organization located in Cave Junction, Oregon. The OISM's mission statement and purpose is research, development, and public education on the biochemistry of molecular clocks and the degenerative diseases of aging, elementary science education, the effects of environment on health and welfare, and disaster preparedness." Robinson states his staff has included Salk Institute biochemist Fred Westall, the late Nobel Prize-winning biochemist Robert Bruce Merrifield, and the late Manhattan Project physicist Martin Kamen. The OISM, in collaboration with the late Frederick Seitz, circulated the so-called Oregon Petition urging the United States government to reject the Global Warming Kyoto Protocol of 1997 and similar policies, declaring that, "...the proposed limits on greenhouse gases would harm the environment, the advance of science, and human health and welfare." The OISM website states that, Several members of the Institute's staff are also well known for their work on the petition project, and that the petition has more than 31,000 signatures by scientists. Only 39 purported signees are described as climatologists, according to Bloomberg.com. Starting in about 2013, Robinson began collecting thousands of vials of human urine," which he claims hold, "...the key to extending the human life span and wresting control of medicine from what he calls the medical-industrial government complex." As of early 2016, there were 14,000 urine samples stored in freezers at the OISM lab. According to Zachary Mitter of Bloomberg, it is hard to judge the credibility of Robinson's claims. Although Robinson earned a Ph.D. from the University of California, San Diego in the 1960s, he hasn't published peer-reviewed research on diagnostic medicine in decades. In reply Robinson stated, We've completed experiments here, which we could easily publish, but we want to wait until they are perfect. In his monthly newsletter, Access to Energy, Robinson argues that nuclear radiation can be good for you, advocates for a revival of nuclear power, attacks climate science as a false religion that will enslave mankind, and condemns public education, instead favoring homeschooling. The Institute also publishes material relating to civil defense and disaster preparedness. <laughs> Political career Topic: 2010 Congressional Election. In May 2010, Robinson won the Republican primary for Oregon's fourth congressional district, taking 79% of the vote to businesswoman Janie German's 20%. He faced Democratic incumbent Peter DeFazio in the November 2010 general election. Six weeks before the election, $600,000 worth of TV advertisements started to appear in the district, portraying his opponent as a puppet of the Democratic leadership. It was later revealed that the advertisements, reportedly a surprise to Robinson, were paid for by conservative billionaire hedge fund manager Robert Mercer. Mercer provided six figure financial support to Robinson again in 2012 and 2014. 
Robinson was defeated by 145,091 votes, 53.6% to 120,307, 44.5%, but it was the best performance by a Republican in the district in decades. Robinson vowed to try again in 2012. Topic: 2012 Congressional Election. Robinson, running unopposed, became the Republican nominee for Oregon's 4th Congressional District, to again face incumbent DeFazio, who had defeated Robinson's son Matthew in a landslide in the Democratic primary. In the general election, DeFazio defeated Robinson by 212,866 votes, 59.1% to 140,549, 39%. Topic: 2014 congressional election. Robinson ran for a third time for Oregon's 4th Congressional District in 2014. He was unopposed in the Republican primary and faced another rematch with DeFazio in the general election, who was unopposed in the Democratic primary. Robinson lost the election with 116,534 votes to DeFazio's 181,624. 2016 congressional election Robinson ran for a fourth time for Oregon's 4th Congressional District in 2016. He ran against Joe Ray Perkins, a former Lynn County Republican Party chairwoman, in the primary election and won with 67% of the vote. In the general election on November 8, Robinson once again faced DeFazio, who won his primary election with 93% of the vote. DeFazio prevailed once more, 55% to 40%. Topic: 2018 congressional election. Robinson is challenging DeFazio for a fifth time in Oregon's 4th congressional district. He faced four primary challengers this time, Perkins, again, plus former Eugene mayoral candidate Stefan Streck, Curry County Commissioner Court Boyce, and Michael Pollan. Robinson won the nomination with 45.7% of the vote. DeFazio defeated Robinson 56% to 41%. Robinson has already declared his candidacy to face DeFazio in 2020. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political views. In addition to believing that global warming is a hoax, Robinson opposes abortion and supports gun rights, cutting taxes, increasing border security and building new power plants. He argues for balancing the federal budget, defunding earmarks and ending special interest influence in Washington. He also supports restoring sound money and ending the Federal Reserve System. Robinson is against bailouts to Wall Street banks. He also supports a strong national defense, but with a more restrained foreign policy. Robinson is a signatory to a scientific dissent from Darwinism, a petition circulated by the Discovery Institute to promote intelligent design. Topic. Oregon State University controversy 
In 2011, Robinson alleged that Oregon State University OSU was part of a conspiracy to retaliate against him for his political activism by expelling his three children, all of whom were graduate students there. When asked what proof he has of the university discriminating against his children, Robinson stated, I don't have definitive proof. That is what I believe. Basically, I know what happened. I cannot tell you the motives of the people doing it. In a statement, Osu would not comment on matters concerning the students without their consent, but declared all the other claims, including those about the faculty, to be unfounded. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Robinson is a non-denominational Christian and lives in Cave Junction, Oregon. He was married to Lee Robinson until her death in 1988. His six children were all homeschooled. As a hobby, Robinson buys unwanted pipe organs from churches and reassembles them on his property. Topic. Selected publications Robinson, Arthur B., McCurro, James H., Carey, Paul 1970. Controlled Deamidation of Peptides and Proteins, an Experimental Hazard and a Possible Biological Timer. PNAS 66 3, 753 to 757. Doi 101073 PNAS 66.3.753. PMC 283114. PMID 5269237. Pauling, Linus, Robinson, Arthur B., Taranishi, Roy, Carey, Paul 1971. Quantitative Analysis of Urine Vapor and Breath by Gas Liquid Partition Chromatography. PNAS. 68 2374-2376. Doi 10.1073 PNAS.68.10.2374. PMC 426616. Robinson, Arthur B. Robinson, Laurel E. R. 1991. Distribution of glutamine and asparagine residues and their near neighbors in peptides and proteins. PNAS. 88 20 8880884. doi 10.1073 PMC 52614. PMID 1924347. Soon, Willie H., Balunas, Sally L., Robinson, Arthur B., Robinson, Zachary W. 1999. Environmental Effects of Increased Atmospheric Carbon Dioxide. Climate Research. 13 2, 149-164. DOI 10.3354/CR013149 Robinson, Noah E. Robinson, Arthur B. 2001. Molecular Clocks. PNAS 98:3-944-949. DOI 10.1073/PNAS 98.3.944. PMC 14689. PMID 11158575. Robinson, Arthur B., Robinson, Noah E. 2008. 
Use of Merrifield solid phase peptide synthesis in investigations of biological deamidation of peptides and proteins. Peptide Science. 93, 297-306 doi 10.1002 bit.20852 pmid 17896348